time. Lee County and West Texas choice for music is KLEA Hobbs Lovington. The greatest hits of all time. Cool 95.757. The greatest hits of all time. Cool 95. I'm Monica. That was the Steve Miller Band and Fly Like an Eagle. The Go-Go's and Head Over Heels right before that. We've got Scandal and Patti Smith, Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, and the Eagles all on the way. And then, of course, you'll have Mr. Ron and Mr. Ty reporting, calling live. <laughs> I was going to say reporting, calling live that Hobbs Eagle game over there in Albuquerque. Uh, it will not be streamed for um, copyright reasons. However, you will hear that on the air right here on Cool 95.7 beginning in about 15, I want to say, yeah, 15 minutes. That game kickoff or tip-off is at 5.30. So I'm out of here for now. Just wanted to welcome you to the 5 o'clock hour and tell you that you guys are a great audience. I love y'all. I hope you guys enjoy the game. And then we'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again on Cool 95.7. Bye for now, everyone. Of Lovington, Cool 95.7. Eagle Hoops on Cool 95.7 is brought to you by Lasco Construction, the Lee County State Bank, TDS, and the First American Bank of Hobbs. Hobbs Eagle Basketball on 95.7 also brought to you by Forest Tire Company, Hobbs Express, Thriftway, and Elite Home Health Care. Now let's take you live to the arena with Ron Gunter and the voice of the Hobbs Eagles, Ty Friend. It's Hobbs Eagle Basketball right here on Cool 95.7 and the Cool 95.7 app. Welcome everyone to Albuquerque, the site of the APS Metro Tournament live on Cool 95.7, HobbsAmerica.com and YouTube and the Cool 95.7 Facebook page. Ty Friend along with Ron Gunner tonight is the Hobbs Eagles in the second round of the APS Metro, taking on the Monzano Monarchs. Now, they're on the consolation side of the bracket, Ron. Last night, of course, the Hobbs Eagles losing to the number one ranked team in the 4A, according to Max Preps, Highland. Pretty close game throughout, and losing by double digits at the end. But still, pretty good performance there for the Eagles. We're only down by about three points at the end of the first quarter, down by nine in the second. But three point shots really killing them. And, of course, they had that big-time scoring from the kid that uh, averages 36 points a ball game in Lycone. He only finished with uh, uh, 33 in that game, but 24 of those were at the half, so Hobbs only gave him nine points in the second half. Actually, that was in the third quarter. He didn't do much of anything in the fourth quarter. I think he was just relaxing and uh, waiting for the next game. But, you know, Hobbs needs to go ahead and play all four quarters. I think they've got it in them. It's just a matter of confidence, of the ability to uh, work together, play as a team, We've seen them do it in the past as far as uh, first, but they, we haven't really seen them do it uh, in uh, consecutive four quarters. I think they need to get that done. I believe they have a really good chance to get this Manzano team. They have a really good record against them. I think they're 2-0 and oh for the record overall, but, you know, that doesn't matter as much as it used to. Uh, I think one of the problems, again, is, is uh, they're, the past is coming back to haunt them. Hobbs was really great in the past, and it's hard to, re, uh, to live up to that pass, especially if you got somebody who has already lived it with Ronald Ross. He's uh, so he'd probably be saying something like, "Yeah, we did this back in the day. We were really good. We got some championships, and this is how we did it." So Hobbs just needs to uh, buckle down, be able to get the offense going, defense especially, so they can get their offense started, and that will help them out. Last night, though, good offensive production from Abraham Payne. He finished with 27 points, had four rebounds, with five of seven from the charity stripe, and hit two trays in the first quarter. Hobbs did manage five three-point shots as a team, but he was the only guy in double digits. Uh, Josiah Clay tried to get into the double digits, missed one of his last free throws, and ended up with nine points and two rebounds. He had a couple of trays in the second quarter. So between those two guys, four out of the five three-point shots converted for the Hobbs Eagles offense. And then after that, really not much help in scoring, although Jairus uh, Turbiatis did get six rebounds, added five points for the squad, and Braylon Vega, kind of a quiet offensive night for him with four points. Nick Pena got the last uh, three-point shot in the books uh, with one bucket for three points total. So pretty much that's the numbers for the Hobbs Eagles in that game. They were 7 of 11 for 63%, kind of hovering around their free throw average on the season at 65. Uh, they did get out-rebounded just by one, 27 to 26. And, of course, uh, Jairus Turbiatis, the top man with six rebounds in that contest. 
Both teams, Highland and Hobbs, getting 15 turnovers in the ball game, so pretty even in that uh, situation. Hobbs did outscore Highland in the last quarter, 14 to 11, although losing 63 to 52. Now Hobbs is at four and nine now. You know, again, they're pretty decent when it comes to the strength of schedule. If you look at the Max Prep poll, Hobbs has the number one strength of schedule in the state and currently ranked at 18. So once once you get into that situation, still have an 18th ranking. W's are going to really help that, but uh, they played some close ball games, but have to be consistent as we said heading into the fourth quarter. And, and you know, we've talked about the past as far as them having a win or loss record. I know the strength of the schedule is great, but it's hard to get into the playoffs when you're uh, below 500. Hobbs needs to work on it because, you know, before we know it, we're going to get a couple more games, and then before we know it, it's going to be district. And uh, next thing you know, we're going to be going to Roswell, Clovis, and Carlsbad. Those don't seem to be top games. Maybe Clovis at the most at this point because they've got the best record of the four uh, uh, in the district. But you never know. Carlsbad always plays this tough. In fact, the last couple of years, they've uh, outplayed us as far as being able to play that uh, small ball, that slow ball. Uh, Roswell is hit and miss sometimes. Clovis also, but they can play us at our best. They can play us at our worst and uh, test us. And we definitely need to get back on the uh, horse and be able to win these uh, games. Last night, uh, Monzano uh, playing a, a tough battle with Volcano Vista. That's the number one team in the state currently, the Max Press Bowl. The team that came to the Hops Holiday Tournament did not make it to the championship game, but they did beat Hops by 20 in those uh, the days that they were down in Hops. Last night, it was Volcano Vista 73 and Manzano 55. So an 18-point win for the number one team in the state. In terms of scoring, though, for Manzano, they had three guys in double figures. That included Donovan Rhodes, who put in 19 points. He had three three-pointers in the ball game, and also six of 13 for the charity strike. So he's a guy that can shoot from the outside, but will take it into the uh, lane as well to try to get some foul calls, which he did. Not the most stellar free throw shooting, though, just six of 13, as I mentioned. So he's going to try to be a little bit better in this game, I can imagine. He does average on the season uh, 19.7 points a contest, so he's very close to his average against Volcano Vista, that number one team last night. So definitely pretty consistent score for Manzano. Uh, other scores in that game, including uh, Shane Ernie, uh, he finished up with 16 points, had 12 rebounds, so a double-double in that game. Uh, definitely a guy that they have to watch out for as well and did have uh, one three-point shot converted in the fourth quarter in that one. I uh, got on the free throw line as well. He went three of six from the charity stripe for 50%. Ernie on the season is averaging 8.7 points a game, so he's third on the team in scoring, but he leads in three other categories, or two other categories, rebounding nine a game and steals 1.4 a contest. He's also second on the team in three-point shots, seven total on the season, make it eight with the one he had last night. Finally in scoring, uh, third on the team last night against Volcano Vista uh, with 11 points and four rebounds. Uh, was uh, Kareem Otway, so he definitely could put some points down. He's averaging close to 11 points a contest, second leading scorer on the team. Nothing else in terms of stats really jumps off the page at you, close to three rebounds a game, but does not have more than one assist or one steal a contest. So his stats really don't look stellar, but he can put some points in for their squad. Uh, this team is averaging 20 turnovers a game, Ron. That's an average. So that kind of tells you they are suspect when it comes to ball handling. Of course, with the Eagles press and trap that we've seen this season, that might be something they could take advantage of. Uh, the Manzano squad is 4-6 and six on the season, uh, 50, uh, 41% from the field, so less than half of their shots going down. They're averaging 28% on three-point shots from the outside, have 57 three-pointers so far this season. And free throws, they're about 63%, which is pretty close to what the Hobbs Eagle average is on the season as well. So that'll be kind of showing you some similarities there. Uh, definitely got to be watching out for that three-point shot from uh, Donovan Rhodes. He is leading the team right now with 24 of those converted and at 42%. Uh, so he's getting close to half of his three-point shot. Got to get a hand in his face. We mentioned, too, he can also go to the lane with it. Yeah, and Hobbs needs to concentrate on uh, those key players right there, as you mentioned. Also be able to uh, get the defense clicking so that way their offense is uh, in and uh, be able to get those quick shots. You know, Hobbs was used to uh, be uh, one of those uh, quick point uh, teams that they would uh, be able to get the ball just like the girls do now. Get the ball in mid-court, go back and uh, make a score. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy is what they used to say. But, yeah, Hobbs just needs to make sure that they uh, get the uh, turnovers down, the fouls up as far as getting more fouls, drive the lane, and uh, do all the other fundamental stuff I'm sure they need to do. Eagles are led in scoring. Abraham Payne has 17.8 points in the contest. He's shooting 71% from the free throw line. 
And uh, Braylon Vega averaging 10 points a ball game. He's 74% from the free throw line. So those two guys, if you get them to the line, they get an opportunity to put some extra bonus on the uh, board there. It really helps out the cause. should mention, Tate uh, well ahead of his team in terms of free throw attempts. He's had seven to seven attempts so far. Not anybody even close to him in terms of attempts. And that's Braylon Vega. He is second with 27, so 50 less free throw opportunities uh, for Vega. That should kind of define what we need here. We need a lot more opportunities to get those free throw shots uh, from the line. Uh, Hobbs has made uh, 14 three-pointers in the last four games. They're averaging over three a contest. So those aren't horrible numbers there. Definitely like to see the stroke coming down uh, from the outside perimeter. In terms of the production, Turbiata is averaging six points a ball game. He is the leading rebounder at seven a contest. Definitely need to get him stepping up. He did get six points last night. Would like to see some more double-digit scoring from him. Uh, he's definitely an aggressive kid. Gets up and down the court. He is fast. One of the uh, fastest big men we've seen uh, in the game so far this season against the Hobbs Eagle t- opponents that we have uh, looked at. Also been seeing some good stuff from Josiah Clay. Uh, he's averaging close to seven points a contest. 78% from the free throw line. He's got himself into a starting role the last couple of ball games. Another fast kid, too, for the Hobbs Eagles. And definitely want to see him step up in this game as well. Uh, during the warm-up, Ron, we saw uh, Mr. Parker Henderson, the big uh, big kid for the Eagles, who's going to be starting tonight, by the way, uh, doing a lot of double-hand dunks in the warm-ups, getting himself ready to get inside. Also, we saw Abraham Pena dunk in the basketball with two hands. He tried to get a single-hand dunk last night, missed it over the rim a little bit, just shoved it over the top. But I haven't seen him jumping that high as I have in this uh, preview right now, going up over the top of the rim and slamming it down with two hands. And it's good to see that he's doing that, but uh, it would be really good if he could do it with a little presence in front of him. It seems like he gets a little distracted, or maybe he just kind of relies on a bump and he doesn't get the bump. Like, I, I remember a couple of years ago with uh, Clayton Strayton, he uh, used to do the same thing. He was uh, he used to enjoy that conflict, that uh, confrontation, but when he didn't get it, sometimes it threw him off and it threw his rhythm off as well. Hopefully Henderson can get his uh, shot, his touch. He seems to be getting close, but not quite getting those shots in as easy as he'd like to do. Starters for tonight's game for Monzano, Shane Ernie, Kareem Otway, Donovan Rhodes, Joaquin Ramos, and Jeremy Reynolds. After Hobbs Eagles, we've been starting to see a little bit of change up in the fifth starter in this game in these games the last few weeks, but a lot of them are still there. But one one position has kind of rotated a little bit between the bigs. Braylon Vega, Abraham Payne, no changes there. Josiah Clay, another start for him tonight. We're also going to see Jay Iris Turbiatis, but the change up Last night, they had Malachi David starting. Tonight, it'll be Parker Henderson. So, he'll get an opportunity to, to take it down low and hopefully get some points and rebounds for the Hobbs Eagles. We're about three minutes away from tip-off here. We are playing at Volcano Vista High School. And, of course, this is the same place last night that we played. Uh, they will play after this ball game as they won their first game, of course, against Monzano. They will play in the, the winner's side of the bracket. We'll take a two-minute break, get you ready for the start of this one as the Hobbs Eagles take on Monzano. Round two of the APS Metro Tournament on Cool 95.7. HobbsAmerica.com, YouTube, and the Cool 95.7 Facebook page. We'll be back, as I said, in two minutes. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But the new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. First American Bank believes success comes from building personal long lasting and 
So, when you succeed, we do you. We're back live here at Volcano Vista High School in Albuquerque, the APS Metro Tournament Round 2. Hobbs Eagles coming in at 4-9 of the season, taking on the Monsanto Monarchs at 4-6. Monsanto just started their season December 1st, so they've had a little bit less time in uniform compared to the Hobbs Eagles. Eagles wearing black uniforms, white numbers, and gold trim, and Monarchs in the white uniforms and purple numbers and letters. Hobbs coming in at 18th in the max prep poll with a 14.1 strength of schedule, so definitely the toughest schedule in the state of New Mexico, and that's through the top 17 teams. They're better than all of those. And, of course, Monzano at number 24, their strength of schedule only 3.7. So the Eagles have not had an easy road to hoe here the last few weeks. Now they're playing the APS Metro Tournament. Nothing going to be changing with the next couple of week games that they see here. It's going to be the big man for the Eagles going to be jumping up, Parker Henderson, as he'll go up against Shane Ernie, taking about five, six inches on top of the shorter guy there for the Monarchs as we're ready to start action here in Albuquerque. And he's going to get the easy tip into the backcourt for the Eagles. The Turbiata throws it across the timeline to Josiah Clay. Clay will send it back top to Payne, who had 27 points last night in the loss to Highland. Over to Bega on the right wing in front of the Monarch bench. He'll hold the ball for a few seconds. Five-second count is on. Almost got the fifth count there. Hand off to Payne on the right wing. Fakes the handoff back to Payne, to uh, Bega. And tries to drive to the right corner. Gets shoved in the back. So the first foul of the ball game. And that'll be charged to the Monarchs to Donovan Rhodes, his first, first team foul. Eagle basketball on the right baseline underneath their hoop. Still scoreless, 740 left first quarter of this round two game here in the Duke City. Bounce pass back door on the inbound. Wide open layup with two hands there for Payne to get his first points of the ball game. It's early, 2-0. And the trap pressure, Josiah Clay gets a steal at the right block, goes up strong over the rim and scores. Now 4-0. Hops quickly with that defense. Monarchs will break the press finally to come across the timeline for the purple and white is Jeremy Reynolds. Throws it up top to Rhodes. Otway comes against the basketball, comes hard with the dribble to the right elbow, and there's a quick foul call here. So already two fouls called in this game. As they call the Eagles with the arm bar, Josiah Clay picks up his first personal, first team foul, one foul apiece. And so far, hustle is what we're seeing from the Hobbs Eagles. Inbound comes to the right wing, holding on to it as Rhodes, drives to the free throw line and backs it out against Turbiatis. 4-0 Eagles. Stop and go dribble. Goes to the rack with it. High arcing layup. Rejected by Henderson and sends it out of the play to the left baseline. Rolling out of bounds on a volleyball spike that time. The big man. All leather on that one. And it will be Monsanto basketball, though, left base. Underneath their hoop. Trailing 4 nothing. Quickly get it into the left corner to Shane Ernie. Gets it stolen away by Abraham Pena. Goes to the rack at the other end. And a double hand dunk on the right side of the iron. We said he was warming up in the pregame doing that. And already four points for him. And a turnover, two of them for Monsanto so far. The ball knocked out of bounds coming up the near sideline right. And the Eagles will have to play some defense again as they gave it back to Monsanto. Already two turnovers for the Purple squad. In the front court, Jeremy Reynolds, stop and go, comes around the left circle, flicks it out to Rhodes. Rhodes to the pivot, guarded by Pena. Crossover move, stop and go out to the Hobbs Eagle bench. So that baseline now, and we got a block foul. Fisher runs over from the other side of the baseline, right over to left. He's going to call the foul on the Eagles, the second team foul now. Let's see where they're going to call that one again. So it looked like Abraham Pena has picked up his first. The inbound is Ernie at the top of the circle as he hands it off to Reynolds, guarded by Vega to the right wing to Ernie. Ernie will back it out against Turbiatis. Doesn't use the screen out to the timeline. Almost stepped on that one. Aaron Pass goes out the hand of Henderson on the right side of the lane, but also deflects off a of Monarch as well out for Jeremy Reynolds. Man, out of bounds. Turnover number three and already a timeout for Monzano. The Eagles up 6 nothing early, Ron. And Monzano is struggling with the... Uh turnovers, and that is helping out Hobbs. I think also the fact that, like I said, they're showing a lot of hustle out there. They're trying to get their hands on the ball. A couple of times there would have been more turnovers, but they went out of bounds, so it was saved. It wasn't a turnover for Manzano, but still, Manzano's struggling so far. That's the reason why they had to get this timeout. And boy, defense leading to transition offense for the Eagles. Of course, Abraham Payne with a steal just seconds ago. Went up with a double hand dunk on the right side of the rim. His first of the season, and uh, not a lot of announcing or crowd here at this gym here in the Volcano Vista, which is not the home side of Monsanto. But at this point, the Eagles 
coming up from southeast New Mexico, putting on a hurt on this Manzano squad. Six to nothing with 624 remaining. Eagle basketball as they win down from the backcourt. So right now, yeah, first three shots have been drilled for the Eagles. A couple of buckets for Pena and one for Josiah Clay. And you're bringing it across the timeline after the timeout over to Clay on the right wing in front of the Monsanto bench. Head off to Henderson, back to Clay. He'll keep it on the right circle. Lots of dribble for a second and finds Vega on the left wing. Fakes the three, returns to Clay at the right elbow. A runner shot is an air ball. Henderson there for the cleanup. Gets up Vega, throws it over the right rim for the bucket. So Henderson with his first point and the first rebound of the ball game. The Eagles almost get a steal on the inbound. Deep left corner of the backcourt. It was Pena and Turbiatis swarming over the top of a desperate Donovan Rhodes. Lost the ball momentarily, but it bumps off one of the Eagle players out of bounds. Back to Monarchs in the backcourt. Inbounding the right corners, Rhodes. Having some problems. Sends it up the near right sideline. The ball's loose at the timeline. Ricochet diving on the floor is Clay, and picked up by Pena. Turner number four for the Monarchs. Pass to Henderson coming down the lane. He tried to dribble and take two steps. Lost his balance and fumbles around a little bit and picks up the travel. But you can see Henderson looking ahead to the rim a lot more than we've seen this season. Exactly. He's definitely preparing to get a shot in. He just didn't get the ball in time. 8-0 the score. Eagles up. 5.52 left in the first. The inbound and return back to Ernie as he'll bring it across the timeline off the dribble. Guarded by Turbiotis. Unload to the right wing to Rhodes. He'll take a few dribbles left. Drew his legs down. Up top to Reynolds. Drives to paint. He shuffles steps. No call. Throws up an off-balance shot over the rim left side and rebound by Parker Henderson. His second board already. Outlet up court to Bacon in the left corner to Clay on the left wing. He shuffled steps and got too much ahead of himself and picked up the travel. So you don't want to shake and bake too much, Ron. You got an eight-point lead. You might want to add to the score before trying to dazzle too much. Yeah, but you also try to get around the player. You just don't think about the dribble at the same time, so sometimes you get caught in the uh, moment. 528 left first quarter, 8 nothing. Eagles up big as the inbound comes to Rose. They'll take on Payton through the timeline. Top of the circle front court continues down the pike. Double clutch is rejected. Going up high for it is Clay to pull it down on the rebound. His first four. Throws it up ahead to Payton down the lane. Back door to Turbiatis left block. Double clutch. Throws up a shot. Dribbles around the rim and drops through for the Eagles. Turbiatis is his first bucket. And Eagles up 10 nothing. A steal on the inbound from Turbiatis. Turnover number five as he gives it up top to Vega. Behind the Henderson fires a three out the back of the rim from the top of the arc. Pulled down by the Monarchs by Reynolds, his first. Dribbles behind his back down the front court. Sends it to the left wing to Rose. He'll slow it down just a bit. One-hander up top to Ernie for a three, nothing but net. Clay got a hand in his face for Ernie, drills home the tray. First point to the game for the Monarchs, pops up 10-3. Into the front court, a pass to Pena. Hands off to Clay on the left wing. Dribbles up top after a screen from Henderson. Stop and go to the right side of the lane. High arcing layup and score two off the glass for Josiah Clay. He's got four points. It's 12 to 3 Eagles. The inbound comes in and getting it back from Ernie. It's Rhodes on the baseline. He's got double team pressure. Unloads the half court across the line to Otway. Drives the lane with a scoop shot. Air ball. Rebound by Henderson. He put his hand up in there and scared the shooter. Throw it up ahead to Vega who tries to save it. Overthrown out of bounds. And the turnover for the Eagles at the other end. So three turnovers for Hobbs and five already for Manzano. Coach Ross is going to go get a sub out as Josiah Clay runs to the bench. And coming in for the Eagles, checking on for the first time in this ball game is Braddock Beatty. Full court pressure defense on the trap. Ball in the hands of Ernie. He's going to go hard, throws it long down the court to Ramos in the lane. Turn around, fires the J. Over the rim, no good. Rebound for the Eagles by Turbiatis, his first four. Now led to the far right sideline. Here comes Vega. Comes across the time stripe. No look pass to Payton. Right corner for three and put it through the thread. Big time shot there. The Eagles are really blasting the passes up ahead court. Payton now with seven points to lead the Eagles. 15 to three. The biggest lead now is 12. Dribbling through pressure. Now a pass to the right court. Avant Anderson in the front side. He just checked in momentarily. Uses up his dribble though as Payton picks him up. A load to the ball to the right corner to Otway. Goes to the left hand down the lane. Runs over Turbiantis, bulldozer style. We got a whistle. We're going to wait to see if this was a foul on the Eagles or not. Looked like uh, Turbiantis had his position that time, but they called against him, it looks like. He just had his spot on the floor, and he completely had to peel himself off the hardwood that time. They called the foul on Turbiantis, his first third team foul. It will be Monarch basketball on the right baseline as they trail 15-3. to three. And, boy, Turbiantis got the worst of that deal, Ron. It seemed like it to you. Both of them hit pretty hard, but yeah, he was on the bottom, so he definitely got landed on. 3.26 left first quarter. Eagles by 12. 
The spin back comes to the right wing to Anderson. Crossover move, uses up his dribble. Sends it up top to Ernie. Ernie's going to slow it up at the timeline as he backs up against Turbiatis on the dribble. Kicks it to the right wing again to Anderson. Anderson comes around the left circle. Uses up the dribble with the pivot. Kicks it back to the right wing to Ramos. Ramos' shot is rejected by Henderson out of bounds on the near sideline and screams back at Ramos. You better be careful about that. You can get a Tani call there. He'll take on Vega one-on-one -on -one through the time stripe. Stop and go. Spin move. Screen up top by Ernie. Doesn't use it, though. Returns to Ernie on the left wing in front of the Hobbs Eagle bench. Crossover move with the screen coming from Ramos. Dips to the right wing to Anderson. Bounce pass down low. Right block to Otway. Tries to thread the needle down low. It's thrown away by Beatty. Turn number six for the Monarch. Up ahead to Vega. Double clutch gets hammered hard from behind. Taking a piece of his head off that time was Joaquin Ramos for his first foul, second team foul. Ball came over the iron, but a chance for two free throws, Ron. That was his first shot attempt, didn't make it, but he still will be able to get uh, two points or attempts at that at the free throw line. The double bonus coming for the Hobbs Eagles. They're shooting 65% this season from the charity stripe. Leading by 12, trying to add on to their biggest lead of the game at 12. First shot for Vega is up and good. And that's the first point of the game for Braylon Vega, the sophomore. Vega came into the contest shooting 74% from the charity stripe this season. And you'll get one more here to extend the lead, hopefully, to 14. Second shot is up, and it is a swish. So Vega gets both of them. He has two points. Eagles two for two. 17-3, to three, biggest lead now, 14 in the ball game, 243 remaining. And almost a steal. Vega comes through the lane, punches at the basketball on the baseline to knock it out. Monarchs will have to again try to beat the pressure. Eagles look like they're doing a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one. half-court trap with Henderson at the time strike. Inbound to the near sideline, picked up with the pass to Ramos. Ramos will send across the left wing to Reynolds. NBA 3 out the front of the rim, clicks off the iron and rolls out of bounds on the baseline for the Hobbs Eagles. No rebounders that time for Manzano. Looked like completely out of sync. Don't have Coach Brown. Uh, the two Brown brothers have been kind of moving around teams in Albuquerque. they got Coach Dunnell. Uh, his, he is an alumni member from 2006 on this purple squad. Eagle basketball in the front court. Payton on the left wing. Up top to Turbiatis. Fakes the three. Drives the right side of the lane. Spin. Turns and fires a J off the glass and through the rack. Turbiatis getting fake that time. He's got four points. 19-3. to three. Biggest lead now is 16 for the Eagles. Trap pressure being applied on the far left corner of the backcourt. They'll throw it across court right to Ernie. Ernie's going to go with the crossover move into the front court now. Tries to sell a pass, and he gets complete to Anderson for three in the left corner and puts it through the rack. Actually, that was uh, Kai Youngberg who just checked in his first trade of the game. Two three-point shots converted by Monsanto, but hops by 13. At the other end, it's Payton underneath the hoop, sends it over to the left wing to Beatty, takes a few dribbles with his left hand, down to Vega left corner. Underhands up top to Turbiatis. Hippity hop step down the right side of the lane. Another glass shot, this time from the right side, and puts it through again. Turbiatis with three buckets here in the first quarter with six points. 21 to 6. Eagles by 15. 128 left in the quarter. Slowing it down just a bit is Shane Ernie in the front court, going through his legs to the dribble against Turbiatis. Screen left by Ramos. Throws up a three off the back of the rim. Henderson waiting for it underneath the hoop. His fourth rebound. Alex Abadi in the front court. Left corner, three on the way. Air ball. And also hits off the head of Turbiatis. They're going to say touched also a Monzano Monarch, Shane Ernie. But I think Turbiatis with his pointing hand got the referee's attention, and the zebra obliged him on and called it for the Eagles. Hey, you know, whenever you get a call, you get it whatever you can or however you can. Hobbs will have it on the far right corner sideline in front of the Monzano bench in their front court. Inbound to Payne with 108. Sends it down to Henderson, right block. Kick out to Beatty, right corner. Fakes a three. Drives to 18. Fires a shot anyway. Off the back of the rim, no good. Henderson there with a two-hand touch shot off the glass right side and puts it through. Henderson with four points and five rebounds. He's really getting his game amped up here in the first quarter. Now we're going to call a hand check foul against the Eagles. It was Vega and Pena applying the pressure in the backcourt. It looks like they got Pena on the call. That's his second personal 14th foul against the Eagles. One away from the double bonus. The high inbound ripped away by Pena. Manzano's seventh turnover. Gets it down low to Turbiatis. Turns and fires a shot off the glass. No good. Rebound underneath by Kareem Otway for Manzano. Gets it unloads to the left side of the speed core. Donovan Rhodes puts his head down and tries to get through Pena and Turbiatis. They call the foul on the big boy. 
And Jairus Turbiantes now with his second personal 15 foul. That puts Manzano in the double bonus. And I think this trap is giving Manzano fit so far in this opening quarter. But Turbiantes is doing really well. He missed his first shot out of four. That's three in a row he's made. And he's uh, and all the team pretty much is shooting really good lights out. And definitely using the touch and using the glass to their advantage so far. Leading by 17 points, their biggest lead of the contest. As we wait the first free throw of the game for Donovan Rhodes. He has a 17-point lead. Rhodes on the season shooting 70%. First free throw is up and good. He'll get one more, 23-7 to the score. Mitch and Hobbs came in at 65%. And Monzano on the season about pretty close to the same, 63%. So just a 2% differential there. Second shot off hard off the back of the rim. The one for two is Rhodes. The rebound underneath by Vega. Vega picked up his first board on that one. And he'll give it off to Pena at the time. So I've actually asked Nick Pena now at the basketball instead of Pena. Fires over to the left side to Vega. Down low to Henderson, or Hernandez, who just checked in. David Hernandez. Zings it back up top to Pena. Over to Beatty on the right wing. Down low to Mr. Malachi. David, turn out jumper. Misses off the back of the rim. Ball gets tipped out by Manzano off the hands of Joaquin Ramos. So a couple of subs coming in during that quick break. Pena. David and Hernandez, Beatty and Vega remain in as well. Penny on the right base, send it back up top to Hernandez on the inbound, zings it over to Beatty on the right wing, dribbles to 18, kick it back right corner to Pena for three, not to bad net. Nick Pena coming off the bench, he had a three last night in the game against Highland, now 26-7, to Eagles got their biggest lead of 19. Quickly in the front court, driving the lane is road, stripped away by Kenya. Monarchs eight turnover. Up ahead to a breaking Beatty who lays it in on the left glass over his head right before the buzzer. The Hot Beagles putting on a beating here in the first quarter as they lead 28 to 7, a 21 point lead of the Monzana Monarchs. We'll take a 60 second break, come back with more Hot Eagle hoops at the APS Metro Tournament in Albuquerque in 60. Just call us if it's a ride you like. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trust Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. Back live here in the Duke City, Albuquerque, home of the APS Metro Tournament. Round two, your Hobbs Eagles leading big, heading to the second quarter. 28 to 7. Eagles with already seven scores in the game, led by Abraham Pena, seven with the tray. Six for Turbiatis and four for Josiah Clay, along with Parker Henderson. It is Monzano basketball to start this second quarter. They've only got seven points on the scoreboard. A tray by Shane Ernie, another tray by Kai Youngberg, and a point on a free throw by Donovan Rhodes. Eagles with only three turnovers, eight for Monzano. Monarchs get the ball into the right wing, back it out on the dribble. Shane Ernie dumps it down to the right block to Ramos, spins right, then left, and then they got a body foul as Beatty tried to slide with them that time, right side of the paint. Looks like they got him on a hip foul there. Eagles had five fouls in the first quarter, their first here in the second. And back to Monzano basketball on the right baseline. Inbounding. It'll be Kai Youngberg on one of the trays in the game. In low to Reno Reynolds on the right wing. Go back and out to the timeline. Coming out on him is Beatty defensively. Pass to Ernie on the right wing. Takes a few dribbles and hands it off to Otway. Pivots and turns into Hernandez and knocks it down. No call. Pass to the left wing and a three on the way. Up and good put through. That's the second tray of the game for Youngberg. He's got six points. The third tray of the game for Manzano. 28 to 7. He goes still by 21. The three touchdown lead on the hardwood. Pass up to Beatty on the left wing. Tries to get it down to Malachi David on the left block, but throws a little bit off to the left, but off the hands of Manzano. Luckily, Kai Youngberg. Do you like the pace of this game so far? 
Absolutely. It is definitely in favor of the Hobbs Eagles. They are definitely taking advantage of it. Six shots is what were only allowed for Manzano. Get back to the right corner. It's a big, long three from the corner there for the Eagles. Off the mark, back of the Ram Vega as it's pulled down by Manzano underneath the hoop by Reynolds' his second rebound. Stop and go dribble against Nick Pena behind his back. Double team at the timeline with Vega. Loses the ball for a second, but pulled down on the uh, half-court line by Otway. Crossover move to his left hand. Hippity hops down the lane, leads and shoots over the front of the rim, gets fouled, bodied up in the air. They're going to say Beatty in the area once again. He's challenging these shooters in the paint. Got to give him a lot of credit in there. Actually, I think they're going to call this instead on Hernandez underneath the hoop. So that will be against him. Second team foul against the Eagles. First shot is ricocheting around the rim and good for Ernie. He's one of one for the charity stripe. Ernie came to the contest shooting 59% on the season. He'll get one more. It's bouncing around the rim again. This one no good. Underneath the hoop is Malachi David for his first board. Pass up the other end to Vega. Left three is off the back of the iron. Long rebound in transition. Here come the Monarchs. Kareem Otway with the basketball. Gets tripped by Beatty. Lost it off his foot, though. And picked up by the Eagles in the front court by Pena. By Hernandez on the right wing. Cross court left to David. Down to Beatty. Left baseline. A runner shot on the way. Ten footer off the side of the iron. No good. And a rebound for Shane Ernie for the Monarchs. It transitions. An unload to Reynolds on the right wing. He'll slow it down on the offense. Beatty will step out on D. Gives the pass to Ernie on the right wing. Zings it back up top to Ramos. Kicks it back to the right side to Otway. Down to the right base to Ernie. Turn around Jay from 15 off the iron. No good. Pulled down and underneath. A left block by Youngberg. He'll send it back up top to reset to Otway. Drives the lane. High arching lane. Right side and scores off the glass. That's Otway's first bucket. 28 to 13. And Coach Reasons to talk to the troops. Does not want to see him on dwindling way at the lead. Now down to 15. 28-13, your Eagles leading Monzano with 6.04 left second quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on the Hobbs Eagle Network. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company. Leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Back live at the APS Metro Tournament in Albuquerque. Ty Fred, Ron Gunner, Evie Scuba back at the station. The Eagles were up 28-7 to at the end of the first, now 28-13. to So, Ron, a 6 nothing run for Monarchs. That's why the Eagles called the timeout. You know, everybody has a small slump, and this time around, hopefully it will end. Hobbs will come back strong. They get the pass down to Josiah Clay down the deep left baseline. He takes a few double steps before taking off with the dribble. They call the travel, so not a good way to finish up after a timeout. Eagles now with four turnovers. And giving it back to Monzano now, down with a 15-point deficit, though, popped up 28-13. to And they were out, Eagles out rebounding Monzano 8-2 to in that first quarter. Pass comes in to Ernie on the right wing, takes a few dribbles, slides to the free throw line, underhands up top to Otway for three off the back of the rim. Big-time rebound for Parker Henderson, already six boards here in the first half. Gets it across the timeline to Payne on the left wing. Screen from Turbios is up top. One hands it over to Clay on the right wing, down to... Vega right corner. Back up top to Payne to reset as he backs out to the timeline left side. To Vega in the left corner. Look for a three. Decide not to take it. Instead back to Abraham at the top of the circle. Still look past to Clay on the right wing. Uses up his dribble. Posting up Henderson middle of the paint. Jumps at Turbiatis right baseline. Wrap around pass to Vega left corner. Fumble the basketball. Picked up by Pena. Luckily on a shot clock. Pena comes down the lane. Back door to Turbiatis. Double clutch high. Misses off the rim. Put back up by Henderson right side block. He's fouled going up. Couldn't get it to drop on the tip. But he'll get two free throws on the foul. That's his seventh rebound. And now trying to get some pay dirt here with some free throws. As they call the foul against Manzano. Their first of the second quarter. I think that's against Joaquin Ramos, his second, as Henderson will step up, his first opportunity on the line tonight. First shot is up, and it is in and out, no good. Henderson came in shooting 50% from the charity stripe, 8 of 16. Now make it 8 of 17 after missing that one. Definitely like to see him getting more opportunities on the line, which means he's attacking the rim, Ron. Exactly. Also, I'd like to see more opportunities under the basket, whether it be rebounds or just some putbacks and shots. He'll get one more here. Shot is up, and it is a switch for Henderson with five points now and seven rebounds. Definitely making himself known in the paint so far. 29-13, Eagles by 16, 5.07 left second quarter. The inbound comes far left sideline to Reynolds. 
Gets it across the time start with a pass to Rhodes. He's going to spot a three from the right wing and switches it, although Payne had a hand right in his face. Rhodes now at the tray. That's a fourth tray converted by Manzano, who are now down by 13. Pena across the timeline, top of the circle. Sends to Vega left wing, back deep to Pena. He wants the rotation. He's going to send Vega to the right side. Gives it over to Clay, right wing. Back to Vega, right corner. Thought about a three, decided against it. Cross court left to Pena. He's going to take a tray himself and switches it through the thread from the left wing. Big time shot for Pena. Leads the team now with 10 points. 32-16, doubling Manzano. Triple team on the dribbler, Otway. Or actually, that's uh, Rhodes on that far left sideline. Three Eagles on top of them that time. I think they got the jump ball. The arrow's going to go for the Eagles. That'll be a turnover for Manzano. They're ninth in this first half. Right baseline inbound now for Vega. Underneath the Eagles, too. Sends it back deep to Payne to the time stripe. Makes it NBA three. Finds Clay in the right corner. He'll spot up an 18-footer. Hard off the back of the rim. Ooh, Turbiantes tried to get a grip on it. Landed on his right hip. Hard on the hardwood there. He pops up quickly, though. So luckily, he did not stay down with an injury. He hit hard. Sound like bone on wood that time. The inbound to half court, sailing over the top. Coming down with it is Anderson. Tries a three off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound middle of the paint for Reynolds. Kick it back left wing to Youngberg. His three this time goes through. Kai Youngberg with three trays in the ball game. He's got nine points, all on those outside shots. 32 19. The Eagles still by 13, though. In the front court, Clay with the basketball to Pena. Sails it down to him in the right corner. Returns back deep to Clay. Top of the circle against a 1 2 2 zone. Dribbles to his legs. Unloads to Vega on the left wing sideline. Kicks it down to Pena. Open wide in the left corner for three. Off the side of the rim. No good. Rebound right blocked by Rhodes. His first rebound. Double team now against him in the backcourt for Clay and Pena. And would unload it down the left side of the lane to Ramos. Goes at left corner for three on the shot for Otway off the back of the rim. No good. Putting it back up and getting swatted is Youngberg. Nice swat by Big Man Henderson. Henderson tries to throw it ahead to Pena, but they call the travel in midcourt. The Eagles will pick up another turnover there. That's their fifth of the ball game. But trying to take care of the transition after a good block there. That's a, I think it's the fourth block of the game there for Henderson. They've got to do something offensively at the other end. Unfortunately, yeah, whatever they did, it didn't work. Uh, they got caught traveling. It was trying to get it ahead. Almost had an easy shot, though. Ball gets in, batted, driving down the right side of the lane. is Reynolds. He unloads to the top of the arc. Three on the way for Ernie off the back of the rim. Pena comes down with the board on the left block and gets shoved in the back. That's Pena's first rebound. And a push could be called on Jeremy Reynolds, his first, second team foul against the Monarchs. 32-19, Eagles by 13 with 3-16 remaining in the second. Hobbs came in with a 4-9 record, 4-6 for Monzano. Payne in the front court over to Clay on the right wing in front of the Monzano bench. Get us wait a few seconds to see some rotations. Top of the circle off the dribble, returns to Payne on the left wing to make a left corner. He'll just hold on to the basketball. Give to Henderson on the left elbow. Tries to pivot. They're going to say step first before the dribble and picks up another travel. It's happened a couple of times to the big kid. Six turnovers now for the Eagles. Nine for Manzano. But uh, Eagles are starting to pick these up in the second quarter, though. Most of the turnovers for Manzano in the first quarter. Still a good cushion of a lead for the Eagles at 13. Just under three minutes remaining here in the second. This is the second round of the APS Metro Tournament. No game tomorrow for the Eagles. They will have one Friday and Saturday to wrap up the tourney. The inbound comes in to the back court to Reynolds. Goes hard with the dribble behind his back down the front court. Over to Youngberg, the three-point shooter. Drives to the free throw line. Hippity hop to the free throw stripe, but slides ahead after he got his foot position there on the pivot and lost his balance. So that will be the tenth turnover for Manzano. Coach Ross jumps up, gets a sub onto the court for the first action tonight for Lyric Soria. The freshman, of course, ninth grader for the Hobbs Eagles as he takes the dribble across the timeline. Gets it over to the right wing to Pena. Down to Clay in the right corner. Pushing up Henderson. Triple team on him on the right block. Leads and shoots no good. Put back up on the left side of the rim by Turbiatis for the cleanup. That's his eighth point and second rebound, helping out the other big man there. 34 to 19. Eagles by 50. At half court, the ball's ricocheting off the feet. Diving for the backcourt is Pena for the steal. 11 Monsanto turnovers to Clay in the right wing front court. Stop to go dribble. The runner down the lane off the back of the rim. Triviatis clean up man number two this time. Another bucket. Ten points and three rebounds for Jairus Triviatis. It's 36-19. Legals lead by 17. At the other end, a three attempt by Rhodes on the right wing. Hard off the iron. Triviatis with another rebound underneath the hoop. He's got four. Sends it across the timeline to Pena. One hand over to, to Clay on the right wing. Blows up the dribble. Find story. A right corner three. Thank you.
Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But the new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll... Kirky, sorry for the delay there. The Hobbs Eagles get a big block from big-time Parker Henderson, his fifth block of the ball game. Pena lays in at the other end. He's got 12 points. Your Eagles by 19. A steal in the front court for Soria. Sends it ahead to Pena again. This is a double clutch. Pulled down by Kareem Otway on the rebound on the left block. So lots of turns for Manzano. They've got 12. Now coming across the timeline, sliding his feet off the dribble, Jeremy Reynolds right in front of Pena is putting on a tough defensive show here in the first half as Manzano picks up their 13th turnover. Right now it's Pena with 12 points to lead the Eagles, 10 for Turbiatis. So those two guys really stepping up big for Hobbs so far. Yeah, doubling up on points for Hobbs, 38-19. They're, they're hitting their stride right now and uh, get finishing this uh, quarter in style. 48 seconds left, 38-19. The score is Ron Mitchin. Story has the ball on the right wing, sends it down to Clay in the right corner. Dribbles through his legs in front of the Manzano bench. Cross court left to Pena. Drives baseline. Double clutch on the left block. He went up high in the air with that ball. They're going to call the body up on top of him there. Ball came off the back of the rim. And the guy that put a chest into him appeared to be Joaquin Ramos. As Ramos will pick up his third personal, third team foul, and puts Pena on the line. Pena on the free throw stripe so far has not actually not been to the line yet, but came into the contest shooting 71% on the season. Eagles are 3 of 4 from the charity stripe for 75% in this ball game, and the shot good, and Pena kind of fell forward on that free throw, but they'll take any way he can get it, Ron. Exactly, you know, when you get a free shot, even if you uh, stumble a little bit, you uh, definitely want to take it, and uh, you're happy when you get it. Especially when it goes right through the net. He's got 13 points, leading the Eagles. Second free throw is up, and again, through the net is uh, 12. 14 now for Pena, leading both teams. 10 points for Turbiatis, and 5 rebounds for him. Parker Henderson, the leader on the board so far, with seven rebounds and five points. Kai Youngberg leading the Monarchs with nine on three three-pointers. 40 to 19, your Eagles up by 21, matching their biggest lead of the first half. They throw the ball down the lane for Monson on the transition game, laying it in on the left side. Donovan Rhodes, he's got six points. 40 to 21 now, Hawks by 19. 20 seconds left in the half. In the front corner, pass to Beatty, left corner, up top to Clay. Takes a few dribbles, top of the circle, slides left through his legs. Now he's going to spot up an NBA three off the left rim, just clanks off. Hernandez tries to save it in the left corner for the Eagles, but he, they're going to say his foot was on the baseline. It will be Monarch basketball. Seven seconds left here in the second. Hops up by 19. Inbounding will be Ernie in the right corner. Sends it to the far left sideline to Otway. Tries to the half court line. He's going to keep dribbling to the free throw line. Shot at the buzzer is blocked as Hernandez gets a piece of it, and that'll be in the first half of action. Your Hobbs Eagles are their biggest lead of any game in this uh, season so far by 19 over Manzano, 40 to 21. We'll take a three-minute break. Come back with a halftime show live here on Cool 95.7 on the radio, HobbsAmerica.com, YouTube, and Cool 95.7 Facebook page on the internet. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. Just call us if it's a ride you like. 
We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. First American Bank believes success comes from building personal, long-lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative-driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions, plus more than a century of local experience. So, with First American Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you. First American Bank, local know, first uh, uh, since 1903. Uh, 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 Member FDIC. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she says to me, our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But the new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed with a quiet and comfortable ride. You'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com. Lee County State. Domination by the Hobbs Eagles. They were outscoring Monzano 28-7 in the first quarter, but uh, a little bit of a turnaround there for Monzano, outscoring the Eagles 14-12 to in the second, but the Eagles already had a pretty substantial lead, and thus the 19-point lead here at the half. And one of the things is, is uh, because of the fact that Hobbs has had such a great uh, defense, especially in the first quarter, they have limited to 19 shots both on threes and twos in the paint. So, uh, yeah, that has uh, slowed down the Manzano attack. Also, Hobbs has uh, put up 37 shots, both in three-point on the perimeter as well as in the paint. They've also done really well on the free throws, as you'll mention in a moment. But you know what? This Hobbs team so far, they've had a moment or two where they've had a little bit of uh, slowdown production. But overall, they've uh, managed to bounce back, be able to get into it. They still put hands on the ball and be able to uh, get this uh, team to be distracted, uh, the Monarchs. They are uh, trying to get back into the game, but uh, it is hard to do that when you've got a hand in your face. Yeah, although a couple of times they did manage to hit some three-pointers with hands in the face of the Hobbs Eagle defense. Kai Youngberg leads the Monarchs right now with nine points, all coming on three trays. Uh, Donovan Rhodes with six points. Shane Ernie with four, and a bucket for Kareem Otway. Uh, they have a couple of guys with rebounds. Jeremy Reynolds with three to lead the squad along with Kareem Otway. So those both have three apiece. 
although the Eagles are out rebounding uh, Manzano 15 to 11. The Monarchs were two for four from the charity stripe, one of two for Ernie and the same for Rhodes. They did hit five three-pointers in the first half compared to three for the Eagles, but had a lot more turnovers, 13 compared to six for Hobbs. So double plus there. Uh, definitely something that uh, Coach Donnell's got to discuss with his team here at the half to try to get things short up here. They're having lots of issues with the Hobbs-Eagles uh, trap pressure they've been showing here in the half court uh, in that first couple of quarters of action. Bear Hobbs Eagles already getting close to his average on the season. Abraham Pena, he's got 14 points, very balanced scoring too. He had seven in the first quarter and seven in the second, including one tray in each of those two quarters, and went two for two for the charity stripe with the rebound. Uh, J. Iris Kerbiantis also in double so far with 10 points. He had six in the first and uh, four in the second and had four rebounds. It was Parker Henderson with a great start to this game. Five points and seven rebounds so far. He was also one of two from the charity stripe. Josiah Clay hit a couple of buckets for four points. Nick Pena came off the bench for a tray and three. Braylon Baker was perfect on the charity stripe, two for two, and had two points. And that's about it for the scoring for the Hobbs Eagles. They had seven in the book, seven scores in the first half, just four scores for Manzano. Eagles went 5 of 6 from the line for 83%, some very good numbers there in the first half, and had three three-pointers, as we mentioned, uh, two for Pena and one for Nick Pena. And Eagles causing those 13 turnovers in the first half for Manzano. Again, Eagles out-rebounding the Monarchs 15-11, to 11 with Peter, or Henderson with seven total boards and Turbiatis with four. So that's pretty much the uh, comparison of the numbers in the first half. Eagles up by 19 40 to 21. We'll take a 90 second break. Get you ready for the second half action as your Eagles lead big over Manzano here in the second round of the APS Metro Tournament in Albuquerque. First American Bank believes success comes from building personal, long lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions plus more than a century of local experience. So, with First American Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you. First American Bank, local know, first I, I, since 1903. I, 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 Member FDIC. Just call us if it's a ride you lack. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do, or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. Second half action here at the APS Metro Tournament in the Duke City. Ty friend Ron Gunner with you. Evie Stuber back at the station. Your Eagles lead 40 to 21 as we get ready for the action. Your Eagles trying to get their fifth win of the season. No game tomorrow for Hobbs here at the tournament. They will come back on Friday and then also on Saturday. So they have two more games left as well as every other team that's in the tournament. Volcano Vista is playing in the nightcap game tonight. So they're trying to move themselves on in the winner's bracket. Monzano basketball to start this third quarter. They have it at the top of the arc front court. is Youngberg who hit those three trays in the first half. This one is hard off the back of the rim as pulled down by Turbiatis underneath the hoop. His fifth rebound. Sends it ahead to a breaking Pena down the lane right side. Gives it off to Henderson left corner. Swing it back to Vega right corner. He's going to fire up a three and puts it right through the hole. Big time shot for Vega. That's his first bucket of the game. He's got five points on those two free throws in the first half. 42-21, Eagles doubling up. Coming down the lane to the other end, a high arching layup over the front of the rim by Ernie. Ball gets tipped out of the baseline after coming off the iron as Beatty was battling Ernie, the man who shot the ball that time. So matching the biggest lead of the game at 21, the Eagles up with 7.22 left third quarter. Right baseline is Ernie to inbound for the Monarchs. 
Sends it to the right corner to Anderson. Up top to that three-point shooter, Youngberg. He's going to fire up another one. In and out again. Tipped up on the right block. Missing is Ottaway. Goes back up again. It's fouled over the top by Beatty. So Otway will get his fourth rebound. Actually, fifth. He got two boards on that last play. I think they got Beatty on the foul. That will be the Eagles' first foul here in the third quarter. They did get Monzano a bonus in the first quarter, but not in the second. Otway's first free throw is up and good. He's got three points. Otway came into this game, their second leading scorer at 10.8 a contest. Rhodes was 19.7, but they're well below their average tonight. Second shot for Otway is a swish. He's got four now. And they're now four of six from the charity stripe. 42-23, Hawks still up by 19. Coming across the timeline is Pena. Looks like a two-tree zone for Manzano now. Gives the ball over to Vega right wing. Posting up Henderson right block. Turns and fires. He's got about 10 inches over the two defenders. Barely just tips it off the glass and put it through for two. Henderson with seven points, eight rebounds, a steal, and a layup by Vega, who puts it up and in. Vega now with seven points, and that is a 14 turnover for Manzano. 46-23. That is the biggest lead of the ball game for Haas. Top of the arc front court, Ernie. He's going to spot up a three against Turbiatis off the front of the rim, though. Beatty with the rebound high off the ground for his first board. He'll bring it across the timeline. Gives it over to left swing to Payton in front of the Eagle bench. Back up top to Vega. Taking his time as he waits for Payton to come back and get it. In the middle of the Hawk logo on the court here at Volcano Vista. One hand bounce pass to Vega right wing. Posting up Henderson again. A hook shot is an air ball. Gets his own rebound, though, and sends it back up top. That's his ninth board. Down the lane to Payton. Misses the layup on the right side. Tipped back up by Henderson once. Couldn't get the ball to roll. That's his 10th board. The ball rolls out of bounds after going off the rim on the left side. Those are the point-blank range shots you can't miss, Ron. And he just kind of tiptoeing in a little bit too much that time. You know, he's had his moments where he's had great shots, but those weren't as good. He'll learn. He'll get back into it and do it again. Yeah, he needs to go back to the glass like we saw in the first quarter where he's dam- damaging Monzano with a couple of buckets and about four or five rebounds. Right now he's at 10 boards. And working on a double-double, though, he does have seven points, so definitely showing some stuff here as an offensive starter in this ballgame. A little delay here, substitution coming in. Malachi David checks in for Turbiantis. Monarch basketball in the backcourt. The inbound to Reynolds as he picks up Vega at the timeline for defense. Stop and go. Beats him down the right side of the lane. Slings over the right corner to Ernie. Thought about a three, but decided against it with Vega with a hand in his face. Unloads to Otway on the right wing. Back to Ernie, right corner. Fade away three, no good. Henderson sky high for the rebound. His 11th in the middle of the paint. Out that far left sideline to Pena. Down to Vega, left corner for three and for the hop pitch. And guess what? He got his team to help him from behind. Sails it right through the cylinder. Big shot for Vega. That's his second tray. A steal on the inbound, and Vega lays in on the right side. So back-to-back buckets for Braylon Vega off the 15th Monsanto turnover. Half-court pass, complete. Shot from the left elbow on the way for Youngberg, no good. And it goes off the hands of Otway underneath the hoop, out of bounds for Monsanto. Your Eagles now up by 28, their biggest lead of the ball game, starting to route this Monarch team. Yeah, we, uh, if we uh, keep this up, we can get into a mercy rule real quick. And that definitely is going to make up for last night's game, losing to a very tough Highland team, the number one team in 4A in the Max Prep Bowl, as they move on to play number one Volcano Vista from the 5A. The Eagles have caused 15 turnovers so far. That's coming across the timeline is Pena. Gives it off to Vega on the right wing. Tries to throw it up top, but taking it in the midair was Rhodes. Goes to the other side with the lefty lap, misses, gets his own rebound, fade away in the paint, comes off the rim again, and pulled down by Monsanto, so they continue to rebound. Pass off right wing, and a big three thrown up by Youngberg off the back of the rim. Ricochets off the iron and pulled down by Ernie on the left side. Cross court right to Gonzalez. Sends it up top to Reynolds at the top of the arc with a dribble left. Bounce pass down the lane. is swatted away by David for another turnover. 16 for Monsanto. Bounce pass down the paint to Pena. Gets it knocked out of his hands. Tries a spin move and gets fouled underneath. I don't think they're going to call this a shooting foul. But both sides getting kind of sloppy in their offenses right now as they call the foul on Monsanto. See who they got that one against. Looked like it was against Shane Ernie, his first. And it will be Hobbs basketball on their baseline underneath the hoop. Substitution coming in for Manzano. Ticking on the court. Josh Bach is seeing his first action. Quick inbound to Payne. Fade away Jay for the left block. Comes off the front of the rim. No good. And the rebound on the left elbow by that sub. Josh Bach for Manzano. They'll send it ahead to the free throw line front court to Reynolds. Slings it over the right wing to Rhodes. to hold the ball for It comes out on him. Backs it out to NBA range, decides not to shoot it, and underhands instead to Ernie at the timeline. On the right side in front of the scores table. 
Down the right wing to Reynolds in front of the Manzano bench. He wants a clear out here, top of the circle. Spins and goes back to the right side. Pass to Ernie on the right wing. Fade away three, in and out, no good. There's David to rip it down underneath the hoop. David with his second rebound. Throws it up ahead to Vega. Alley oop back door to Henderson, but it's stolen in the lane, taken away by Shane Ernie. And it looks like Henderson might have powered behind him and threw a hip in his back that time for the foul. Henderson will pick up his first personal, second team foul. That will be a turnover for the Eagles, just seven compared to 16 for Manzano. And still that big cushion, Ron, of 28 points for the Eagles. Yeah, so you definitely don't want to let up on the gas. You want to make sure that you're playing strong no matter what your score is. 4.02 remaining. Eagles up 51-23. The end out of the backcourt for Manzano. And coming off the dribble to the front court is Gonzalez. Throws it and gets it back from Ernie. Still near the timeline in the front court. Sends it down to the right corner. Did Reynolds fires up a three. In and out, no good. Ripped down by Clay on the right block. He got physical above his defender that time. Over to Vega, right baseline, front court. 15 footer, no good. Gets his own rebound. A little finger roll over the front of the rim. Can't get it to drop. It goes out of bounds on the baseline, but it'll go off the hands of Manzano, being touched by Rhodes. The Hops will get it back underneath their hoop to try to end under the 28 point lead. Henderson's going to take a breather as Javen Hernandez checks in for the Eagles. Inbound to David, left block, double clutch, goes high off the glass, and 10 points the shot through the cylinder as well. Counter for David, his first bucket. 53-23, to 23. the biggest lead now is 30. Get close to that mercy roll. Stop and go dribble, stripped by Ernie, but he's going to pick it back up. Sends it down the lane, right side, a scoop shot by Rhodes off the dribble, no good. Put back up by Ernie, he can't get the drop over the front of the rim. And Malachi David with another rebound, his third. Into the front court, to Vega for three on the right corner, and swishes it through. Vega sends it through the cylinder. He's got three trays there in the second half and has 15 points, 56 to 23. Eagles up big by 33. A three-shot top of the arc by Ernie is no good. Rebound by Vega. He'll go down the court to the down the middle, throws a pass off right corner for Clay. He misses it. Rebound by David. Spin move in the lane, throws it off the right glass and scores off the 360. He's got four points and four rebounds for the Eagles. Vega also has three rebounds after that transition game. 58-23. to 23. Eagles have the mercy roll now in effect at 35. Monarch's going to pass to the free throw line, getting a shot rejected by David is Gonzalez. Tries to get back on the basketball, loses it off his knee, and goes out of bounds on the right baseline, back over to the Eagles. And, boy, 35-point mercy roll looking good here in Albuquerque. Yeah, and Gonzalez tried to throw it over to his teammate. He couldn't handle it. Too hot to handle, and it went out of bounds. So, yeah. Definitely one of those things that uh, the Monarchs are not able to control the ball, and that's why all these turnovers. Kind of wondering why the clock wasn't running on the inbound there. It stalled with a 35-point lead. Into the front court against the 2-3 zone comes Clay. Sends it over to Nick Pena, who just checked in. Back over to Clay on the right wing. Uses up his dribble. Finds Pena again on the left side circle. Jab step after a screen from David. Back to Clay on the right. Was about ready to shoot a tray. Decided to pull it out against Anderson. Cross court left to David. Takes a few dribbles. Backs into his defender on the left elbow. Up top to Pena. Swing left corner to Story, who just checked in. Crossover move. Baseline left. Off the dribble. And returns to Pena on the left wing. He takes a 360 pivot off the dribble. Gives it back deep to Clay. Crossover move to the free throw line. Behind his back. Hippity hop. Head off to Hernandez on the right block. Throws up a shot. And it barely rolls off the front of the rim. The lid stayed on for just a second. But Hernandez will get a chance for a couple of free throws on the foul. Do they call this against? Looks like Christian Centillinus. Centinius, excuse me. That's his first personal second team foul. And that'll put Hernandez on the line for the first time tonight. Hernandez shooting 55% on the season, 5 of 9 for the charity stripe. First free throws up off the back of the rim. No good. He'll get one more. I believe it's the Eagles' first free throw here in the second half. They're 5 of 7 from the charity stripe at 83% in the first half. Second shot for Hernandez. Ricocheting out of the rim, no good. Couldn't get it to stay in the cylinder that time. And a rebound comes the other way into the front court is Otway. Throws it up top to Ramos. Throws up an NBA three off the back of the rim, no good. Another rebound from Malachi David on the far left side of the court. He's got five boards. Coming across the timeline, Clay, top of the arc, over to Soria left wing, returns to Clay with 125 left third quarter. He goes up 58-23. To Penny in the left corner, sends it back deep to Story at the timeline. One hands it over to Clay on the near right side. Crossover move through his legs, waiting for a screen from David. Doesn't use it. Underhands to Hernandez in the right corner. And is trying to find somebody open. 
Sends it back door to David. Double clutch high off the glass and puts it through for two. David's starting to use that glass work. He's got all six of his points there in the third. And those five rebounds at 60-23. Hobbs is their biggest lead now at 37. Double team pressure against the dribbler on the near sideline. Looking for some help as Levant Anderson able to get it across to the right wing. Front court to Youngberg. Jump it down to the right block to Centineus. Up top for Otway. He drives right in the lane. Scoop shot right. It gets swatted by David from the right side. And then also getting some help from Clay there on the back side of the underneath the hoop there. They're going to get a foul on one of those two. Clock's going to run with 30 seconds due to the mercy roll in effect. So that will be the Eagles' third person or third team foul. They might have got Clay on the foul that time. That's his second. First free throws up and switch for Otway. He's perfect. Three for three, all coming here in the third quarter. Still 60-23, to 23, though. The Eagles up by 37 with 10 seconds and ticking. Again, with the mercy roll this year, the clock will run during two-shot fouls. One more for Otway. Is up, and it is good. He's got six points for those free throws, and that ends the third quarter clock. Your Hobbs Eagles with a mercy roll lead of 36 over Monsanto, 60-24. to 24. We'll come back on 60 seconds with the Hobbs Eagle Network. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company, leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But the new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. Forest Tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. Your Hobbs Eagles outscore Monzano 20 to 3 in the third quarter. Now leads 60 to 24 here in the APS Metro. Hobbs has the basketball here at the tourney in Volcano Vista High School's gym. Payne is going to spot up a shot from just outside the free throw line. No good. Put back up with two hands hard by Termiot. Just gets it off the glass and scored. He's got 12 points and six rebounds. Leading score is Vega with 15. Payne to 14, 12 for Termiot. It's 62-24. Back to a 38-point lead, the biggest of the ball game. In the front court, top of the circle, is Ramos. Stop and go dribble as he gives it off to Otway, right side. Kicks over to right side again. Three on the way for the big kid, Youngberg. Misses off the back of the rim off the tray. Ball gets knocked out of bounds on the near sideline, out of bounds. It will go back to the Eagles. And boy, complete domination in that third quarter again. 20-3 to the scoring difference, Ron. Yeah, just no chance for this uh, Monarchs team to get back into it, especially when being able to score three. Most of that was on the free throw line. Effort of pressure, and they get it down low to Turbiatis, left block, back door to Mr. Henderson, double head dunk as he throws it through the cylinder. He's got nine points, and good work with the big men going back door on that pass from David. 64 to 24. Excuse me, Turbiatis made the assist on that one. A 40 point lead, the biggest of the game. The Eagles dominating Monarchs here in their home city. 6.30 left, and he coming across the time on a bad pass to the near left sideline. It gets knocked out of bounds by the Monarchs off the hand of Avant Anderson. So that will be another turnover, number 17 for the Monarchs. Eagles is only seven in this ball game. Inbound to Beatty. Beats the pressure double team. Finds Henderson back to a right again. Goes up big. Throws it over the cylinder. Cat it from the right side of the foul. Henderson's not going to be stopped now. He's got six points there in the fourth quarter. 11 overall and a chance to add another free throw. Six, omit, six minutes remaining. It is ticking due to the mercy roll. As Henderson on the line is one of two going back to the third quarter. He's got 11 points as well, Ron. That means he's got a double-double working right now. All right, and that's what we wanted to see, a little more aggression from Henderson. He's also, I think he's addicted to the fact now he can 
get under that basket and be able to get those shots in. This is a free throw, though, and pulled down by the Monarchs by Joaquin Ramos. I like to the timeline. And the timeline after by Ramos. Recover time. The Beatty right one. Down low to Henderson up top now. Corner. Sends it to the top of the circle to Vega. Slides right. Throws up a three and switches it home. Vega continues to knock down the trays. He's got 18 points on three trays so far. 69 to 24. The Eagles have a 45 point lead to make it to the ball game. In the front court with the ball is Reynolds. At the time, Stripe taking on Kirby Oxen, giving about six inches. <laughs> Unloads to Ramos on the left wing. Cross court right to Ernie for three. In and out, no good. Chased down by Vega on the near sideline. Right, he's got four boards. And a timeout for Coach Ross. He wanted to get some subs on the court, so he's going to bring in, it looks like, maybe all five subs coming in here. Clock will stop momentarily at 4.44 left of the game. They will get the clock stop due to a timeout. So 69-24 your score. We're back in half a minute on the Hobbs Eagle Network. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. Back live to fourth quarter action after the timeout. Hobbs Eagle basketball pass hits off the chest of Clay in the front court and then bounces back to the back court for the violation. The Eagles with only their eighth turnover in this ball game, but they have a comfortable 45 point lead, the biggest of the game with 4.30 remaining. First zero clock in effect here in the Duke City. The inbound comes to the timeline for the Monarchs to Ramos. Uses up his dribble, bounce pass up top to Ernie. Ernie with a crossover move. Tiffany hop down the lane, down to the right corner for three for Gonzalez off the side of the rim. Rebound for Josiah Clay for your Eagles. He'll dribble into the front court after his third rebound. Behind his back, lost the ball, picks it up. Puts to David in the right wing for three. His hard shot off the back of the rim. Chased down the far right sideline and pulled down by the Monarchs by Reynolds, his fourth rebound. Into the front court, stop and go. Dumps in the air and puts it up top to Ramos. To the free throw line. Kick out right side to Otway. Drives the lane. A high arching layup coming over the front of the rim down the pike that time. As Otway now with eight points. 69 to 26. Eagles still up big. 43. In the front court is Clay. Double team against him. Pass to the timeline. Caught by Soria. One hands it back to Clay on the right wing. Triple team against him. Back to Soria on the right wing. Cross court left as he completes the Caceres. Over to David on the left baseline. Spin move to around Jay off the side of the iron. No good. And pulled down for the Monarchs by Gonzalez. His second rebound. He'll dribble into the front court. Top of the arc. Stop and go. Kicks it back behind into Ernie. Top of the circle. Over to right wing to Reynolds. Reynolds again returns. Top of the arc to Otway. Gets a screen from Ernie. Slides left with the dribble. Now back to the right. Taking on Hernandez. Spins in the lane. Turns and shoots to the right block. Off the back of the rim. No good. We got a rebounding foul underneath. It looks like they're going to call the Eagles for the push off. Look like Clay and Hernandez converging on top of Ernie that time. They're going to call the foul against the Eagles. That's going against Josiah Clay, his third. That's the first team foul here in the fourth quarter. Coach Ross going to get some more subs in the game. That's seeing his first action for Hobbs. Heidi Kano checks in, as well as Nick Pena. The inbound to the right corner to Ramos. Hands off behind him to Gonzalez. Fires the three off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound for Pena on the right baseline. As Pena picks up his first board, into the front court, unloads to Soria left wing, dumps it down left corner to Caceres, down low as trying to shoot it as Kano with the hook shots rejected and pulled down for the Eagles on the rebound to keep the ball alive for Hobbs. That was Seamus Wright, his first board. Throws it down low, right, lost underneath, taken away by the Monarch. That's the Eagles' ninth turnover. Sent it down the paint and driving hard to the rack was Otway, gets shoved. The ball comes off the iron, but he gets a couple of chances for free throws there as he hits the foul on the Eagles. I think they're going to call that one against Lyric Soria. That'll be his second, second team foul, and a chance to shoot two for Otway. He's perfect on the line, four for four, and has eight points. 150 ticket here with the Mercy Roll Eagles up 69 to 26. First free throw's up and good. Otway now with nine. So a 42 point lead here as the clock continues to run at 140. 
Second shot for Otway is up, and it is off the front of the rim. No good. On the left block, Nick Pena getting another rebound here in the fourth quarter. That's his second. Sends it down the lane off the left side to chase it for the Eagles, though. Was Kano to the right corner. A fadeaway three for Soria. The freshman nails a big one there. Lyric Soria with his first trade of the ball game. And then a whistle after the make. They call the reach foul on the Eagles. Looks like they charge that foul to Jordan Caceres. That'll be his first third team foul. 104 ticket here, 72 to 27. High inbound in the front court is taken away by Nick Pena. That's another Monarch turnover. They're 19th of the ball game. Pena to bring it across the timeline as he gives it off to Kano on the right wing. Behind him to pass to Caceres. Throws up another three, and there we go. Caceres, the junior, hits the tray. He goes to back-to-back big shots there. 75-27, the clock down to 40 seconds remaining. Eagles picking up their fifth win here at the APS tournament and coming down the lane with a double clutch getting hit from behind Kareem Otway. He'll get a chance for more free throw attempts there if the clock doesn't run out first, down to 30 seconds remaining. I believe the foul going to be charged to Pena as Pena will pick up the 14th foul for the Eagles. That's only his first as an individual. First shot's up and a swish by Otway. He's only missed one free throw in this ballgame. Six of seven from the charity stripe. That has ten points, double digits. The only one in double digits for Manzano. Second shot's up and good. 75 to 29. We're down to one second, and that is the ball game. Your Hobbs Eagles is a big win over Manzano here in Albuquerque. 75 to 29. Eagles winning by 46 points in this contest. An impressive victory. Hobbs improves the record of 5-9 and nine as the Monarchs drop to 4-7. and seven. We'll take a three-minute break, come back with the Hobbs Eagle postgame show at the APS Metro Tournament in Albuquerque. You're listening live on HobbsAmerica.com, YouTube, and Cole 95.7 Facebook page on the Internet and on the radio at Cole 95.7. Just call us if it's a ride you lack. We'll take you there and bring you back. Hobbs Express provides bus service throughout Hobbs. The bus system operates Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays, 7 to 4. Hobbs Express has an immediate opening for a CDL bus driver, offering great pay and benefits. Apply online at HobbsNM.org or call 397-9230 for more information. When you need transportation anywhere around Hobbs, think of Hobbs Express. Hobbs Express, 397-9290. First America Bank believes success comes from building personal long-lasting relationships that are built on mutual trust. We take a consultative-driven approach to get to know you and your business. We offer a wide array of banking and digital solutions, plus more than a century of local experience. So, with First America Bank as your trusted partner, when you succeed, we do too. Find out how we can get it done for you. First American Bank, local first since 1903. Member FDIC. The phone rings. Your husband jumps out of bed. Not his phone. It's my phone. Turn on my bedside light. My heart sinks. My sister has never called this early. For the next several minutes, she explains to me our mother is going to need private care. What do we do? We are both super busy, but we want the best care for mom. When it's time to entrust your loved ones to home health care, will just any home health agency do? Or do you want the best? You can get the best right here in Hobbs. Elite Home Health provides many services with skilled nurses, such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, even bathing aids. Trusted care in the comfort of your own home. Call 393-9281. That's 393-9281. NMR Pipeline is a highly qualified, dedicated company. Leading in performance with management and employees who've provided over 45 years of service in pipeline maintenance and construction within the oil and gas industry. NMR Pipeline, 300 South Main in Eunice, or call 3940144 for more information. Again, 3940144. NMR Pipeline is proud to be a supporter of all Lee County athletics and academics. Lasco Construction is a proud partner in education in Lee County. Lasco Construction is your hometown construction company. Lasco Construction encourages you and business owners to support Tatum, Jow, Lovington, Eunice, and Hobbs businesses. Buy as much as you can locally, which is why Lasco Construction always supports the youth of Lee County. Lasco Construction supports you. Call 393-9161 for all your construction needs. Support your community. Forest Tire, mile after mile, we've been with you for almost 80 years. Nowadays, it seems like nothing is built to last. Phones, appliances, cars, computers. But 
The new Michelin Defender 2 tire is designed to outlast. With a quiet and comfortable ride, you'll have the confidence you need on the roads, whether they're wet or dry. So goodbye to short-lived and hello to something that lasts. For his tire, keeping you rolling since 1944. Albuquerque, the APS Metro Tournament, live on HopsAmerica.com, YouTube, the Cool 95.7 Facebook page, and on the radio at Cool 95.7. Ty friend Ron Gutter and Edie Stuber with you. Big win for the Hops Eagles in this one. 26-point victory over Monsanto, 75-29. Again, the clock was running through much of the fourth quarter, and the Eagles just dominating. I mean, even in the first quarter, up 28-7. to uh, They were up 40-21 to by 19 at the half. Uh, outscored Monzano 20 to three in the third quarter and 15 to five in the fourth quarter. Again, that's a lot less time to play with that first clock. Yeah, and uh, one of the things I liked about this, uh, this uh, win, first off, they started off with a 10-0 run. Hawks hasn't done that this season. They started off strong. I think the another thing that uh, really helped them out was, like I said, they were getting a lot of muscle. They were getting a lot of hands-on ball. They were uh, getting those uh, passes disrupted for the uh, the Hawks that are looking down. And it was for the Monarchs, and uh, that helped too as far as Bob's getting in the lead quickly and being able to hold on to it. Had a little trouble in the second quarter, but you know what? Sometimes you have a little trouble, and uh, it looked like at uh, times Bob's wasn't sure about certain things, but they got back real quickly on the court, were able to uh, get those points in quickly. But especially when you got a couple of your uh, uh, sophomores and freshmen and all that, they're getting out know, three point shots in. And Henderson, that's off to him. He's finally you know, hitting his stride. Hopefully, he'll. Uh, continue doing this. I think he had one of his best games tonight. He looked good and he looked strong, especially in the late He would block one from three-point range, too. So he was getting more in uh, the face of the uh, defender, or the uh, opponent, being able to get those uh, blocks, being able to get some of the rebounds, as well as putting up some shots. He missed a few, yes, but he's got to work on it still. still. And he can't be perfect right away. Bob Diggle's also playing some stellar defense. 19 turnovers for Monzano in this one. And they had one guy in double digits that was a that was a uh, Kareem Attaway, but uh, he only finished with 11, and that's just about pretty close to his average at 10.8. Their top scorer on the season, uh, Donovan Rhodes, though, uh, was held way below his average. He came in averaging 19.7 a game, and this game, the Eagles had him down to six. So that's about 13 points lower than what he usually does. So, again, Kareem Attaway, their top scorer from Anzano with 11 points. Uh, did a pretty decent job on the free throw line, though. He was seven of eight and had six rebounds for the Monarchs. Uh, Kai Youngberg hit three trays in the first half but did not score in the second half. He had nine points. Six for Donovan Rhodes. Again, he's usually the top scorer. Uh, one of two on the line and two rebounds. Shane Ernie had four points. He was one of two on the line in the tray. He ended up with four rebounds as well. So Monzano only with four scores in this ball ballgame. Uh, pretty decent free throw shooting, though. Nine of 12 for 75%. Uh, they were out-rebounded badly by the Eagles, 34-22. So we got 22 rebounds in this one. Ottawa with six and four apiece for Ernie and Reynolds. So that's definitely a difference in the game was the turnovers, 19 for Monzano and just 10 for the Hobbs Eagles. Although some good three-point shooting, we should mention, uh, Monzano, at least in the first half, they had five trays in the game, but completely shut down in the second half as Eagles defense uh, getting a lot of steals and turnovers against the Monarchs. Your Hobbs Eagles finished with four in double figures. Braylon Vega, the sophomore with 18 points. Uh, he converted three trades in the game, was also perfect on the line, two for two, and had four rebounds. A big game for the sophomore. We should mention Monzano had all starters, all five of them were seniors. So Hobbs beating the upperclassmen in this game as well. Uh, Abraham Pena, second leading scorer with 14 points. He had a couple of trades himself and it was uh, two for two for the line as well. He had one rebound in the contest. Okay, Iris Turbiatis had a, close to a double-double in this game. Uh, 12 points, did have six rebounds in the contest. And really started off well with three uh, shots going down in the first quarter alone. He was perfect from shooting, at least in the first quarter. Parker Henderson, he did have a double-double in this game. 11 points and 11 rebounds and was one of three from the charity stripe. A lot better touch than we've seen games prior and uh, getting more physical and also swatting some shots and standing solid when he does that. So that is four in double figures for the Hobbs Eagles in this one. Again, 18 for Vega, 14 for Pena, 12 for Turbiatis, and 11 for Henderson. Other scores in the game, including Malachi David coming off the bench for six points and five rebounds. All six of his points in the third quarter got a spark going for the Eagles. Josiah Clay had four points and three rebounds. Uh, uh, Jordan Caceres hit a tray for three. Nick Pena hit a tray for three as well. Uh, Lyric Storia coming off the bench. The freshman hit a tray for three points. 
And let's not forget Braddock Beatty's bucket for two points. He had a rebound in the game as well. So lots of guys jumping in there to score for the Eagles in this one. A total of nine scores in the contest for Hobbs. Again, they out-rebounded uh, Monzano 34-22. to 22. Henderson leading with 11 boards and uh, six for Turbiatis, five for Malachi Davis. Eagles convert eight three-pointers in this ballgame. So lots of guys getting involved in those trays in this contest. And they also, again, had nine less turnovers than Monzano did. So all around good play for the Eagles. Everybody getting involved. Had an early lead, again, 28-7. to They really didn't look back at this game. They chipped it down to about 13. But other than that, obviously, they definitely had the W in their pocket in their fifth win of the season. And, yeah, they left Mon- uh, Monarchs pretty much dazed and confused. And, you know, this series... We were wondering about it because it was 15 and four. It goes back to 1960, and a lot of times, though, three out of four, uh, a three and four record for Hobbs. State playoffs. This was not a state playoff, but still, it looked like it played. Or Hawks played it like it was a state playoff. They really had a lot at stake. They want to get the momentum started up again. You know, this season is almost uh, it's over halfway over with, and they're good. They've got only a few more games to tune up before the uh, district starts and uh, that is something they probably got uh, talking to about and they said you know what we need to start playing more physical we need to start playing more like Hobbs does so 16 and 4 against uh, Manzano since 1960 that is something they can hang their hat on and be proud of well Ron check to see what the uh, score of the other game that was uh, really impacting this one Rio Rancho and Del Norte playing at the same time tonight we're trying to get an update on that game Hobbs will play the winner of Rio Rancho Del Norte of course Hobbs gets a taste of Rio Rancho it seems like every season uh, Del Norte, a different factor up here, a little bit smaller division team here in Albuquerque. But, uh, again, I should mention Del Norte beat Monzano this season, so that was kind of a surprise win there. But, uh, again, Monzano kind of reeling after this loss tonight, uh, losing in mercy roll fashion. So Eagles will play. Yeah, no score has been updated, uh, Max Prep, so we're trying to find out who's the winner of that Rio Rancho Del Norte game. Regardless, no game tomorrow for the Eagles. They will play on uh, uh, Friday, I should say, 5.30. Uh, that will be the game to the next one for Hobbs uh, in this series. And I believe they're moving courts as well. They will be at Del Norte, so hopefully it's not Del Norte winning that game today. That means they get their home court advantage against the Hobbs Eagles. But regardless, you kind of look at the brackets here. Hobbs had to play the number one team in the uh, 4A out of the Max Prep Bowl Highland last night. If they would have won that game, they would have had to play number one Volcano Vista from the 5A. So, uh, I know, kind of a stacked deck there. But now, you know, picking apart Monzano and hopefully a chance to maybe even be uh, against Rio Rancho to, uh, tomorrow or make it Friday night. But, uh, again, kind of want to avoid that Del Norte game with not being on their home court. So, again, final score here tonight, 75-29, to 46-point victory for the Eagles to get their record uh, with the fifth win. They're 5-9 and nine now, dropping Monzano to 4-7. and seven. Uh, The Hobbs Lady Eagles are in action tonight as well, Ron. Right after this game, they're on uh, the Eagle 100.5 course big win last night over West Mesa uh, tearing apart uh, that squad in Mercy Roll. Uh, they will play Cleveland tonight as Cleveland was a 49 to 36 win over Albuquerque High. Uh, that game is at West Mesa and uh, tonight uh, 715 tip off on uh, the pregame around 7 o'clock on our sister station 100.5 the Eagle. And Coach Carpenter knows how to win tournaments. He was there last year and won it all. Yeah, and you know he always is modest to, to a degree where he says you know what we did it last year but that doesn't mean we're going to do it this year we got to play it one game at a time, and Cleveland's up next. They're going to focus, laser focus, on them. So you know that uh, he's going to come out shooting strong, be able to get the defense started, and, uh, of course, get them all confused by uh, their presence, as they always do. And before you know it, it could be a mercy rule game. So once again, we'll be back with you on Friday night, 5-15 pregame show. That will be at Del Norte High School, either against Rio Rancho or Del Norte. And, uh, again, we'll be live with the pregame and also the rest of the Tournament 2 Saturday. We'll have a final game for the Hobbs Eagles in action. I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Hobbs Eagle Hoops on the Road, here at the APS Metro Tournament, including Lasco Construction, TDS, Forest Tire, Lee County State Bank, the First American Bank of Hobbs, Hobbs Express, Thriftway Grocery, Elite Home Healthcare, and NMR Pipeline. Again, final score tonight, your Hobbs Eagles victorious in Big time Mercy Roll fashion, 75 to 29 over Monsanto. Again, don't forget the Hobbs Lady Eagles on our sister station, 100.5 The Eagle, or on the internet at HobbsAmerica.com. And again, we'll be back with you on Friday night here in Albuquerque. Have a great rest of the night out there, and adios from the Duke City. We know that you want to make the most out of your time. At Lee County State Bank, we believe banking should be quick and easy. 
That's why we're proud to provide video banking to our customers. Save time and a trip to the bank and meet with a video banker instead. Getting started is easy. Download the LCSB Connect app, create a profile, bank from anywhere. Not a customer yet? No problem. You can use a video banking app to open an account too. Download the app today and start banking from anywhere. Visit onlinelcsb.com, Lee County State Bank, member FDIC. Thank you for listening to Hobbs Eagle Basketball on Cool 95.7 and the Cool 95.7 app. Today's game was brought to you by Elite Home Health Care, Thriftway, Hobbs Express, and the First American Bank of Hobbs. Hobbs Eagle Basketball on Cool 95.7 also brought to you by Forest Tire Company, TDS, the Lee County State Bank, and Lasco Construction. Hobbs Eagle Basketball on Cool 95.7, the Cool 95.7 app, HobbsAmerica.com, and the Hobbs Sports YouTube channel is an exclusive presentation of the Walmart Digital and One Radio Square Sports. Now back to the greatest hits of all time on Cool 95.7. Health. Be worry-free. Be at your best. Now you can be confident knowing the health insurance you find through Be well m has you covered for checkups, prescriptions, and more. Be well m can help connect you to a plan that may cost as little as $10 a month. It's time for you to be happy, be healthy, be insured. Let Be well m connect you to a health plan that's right for you and your wallet so you can just be. Call 1-833-2-BE-WELL or visit BeWellNM.com. TDS Internet makes our every day smarter. Whether working and playing, laughing and sharing, living and learning, it's all better with TDS Internet because it's faster, more reliable. It's Internet that makes a difference for home, for business, for life. Say hello to Internet that hits different.